game engines are the perfect tools for creating visually impactful, cost-effective, immersive experiences. The need for photorealistic experiences in many industries means that game engines are being used today for creating more than just games or movies. They use, for example, in military simulation, in urban scenario, or in management of natural resources. The RGS Math SDK for Unity and RGS Math SDK for Unreal Engines are two new products currently in beta on their way to join the Esri family. With these plugins, you'll be able to access the RGS system from the two most prominent game engines on the market. Here, we're using the RGS Maps SDK to stream those base maps from RGS Online into the game engines and display them on the globe. Thanks to our partnerships with Epic Games and Unity, you can now build experiences in these game engines that can transport you all around the world. For example, here, we're flying through the Himalayas to get a good view of Mount Everest. So we are looking at our image and elevation layers displayed in the game engine environment. But we can also add our 3D GIS content. Now, we're going to travel to the city of Bendigo in Australia and appreciate the incredible data created by our partner, Areometrics. The details look amazing, even at the street level. Look at this pillar in front of the art theater next to the historic fire station. The MAPS SDKs make it simple to add these types of layers to the scene, and the development environment removes the complexity of dealing with large data sets and different levels of details. We are now looking at the courthouse, right next to the visitor center. We'll pass quickly all the shops on Williamson Streets. And the one on Hargreave Mall. We're now on the street that feels a little bit closed in. With game engines, you can import content from other applications. Here, we've created an urban planning scenario using RGS City Engine, procedural building rules, and David Wesselsman complete street rules. You can see how this design fits with the rest of the city. It feels now much more open and really enjoyable to just walk around. You could use this immersive experience to present to the city what the future of that city block might look like. With City Engine SDK, you can procedurally generate data directly inside the game engines. You can start with an empty parcel and just add a City Engine rules to it. Then, game engines will generate the building procedurally with the streets. You can also change the rules parameters, like the setbacks here, or the numbers of floor, directly, and see it happening directly on the game engine. Now, let's add some vegetation and street light to our experience, coming from the game engine's asset libraries. Look at those beautiful trees swinging in the wind. We now have a really beautiful looking digital twin of what that city block might look like in the future. 
Next, let's talk about the biggest advantages of using game engines. And those are visual effects and animations. This is how you can add another dimension to your experience. Look at this beautiful sunset, for example. You can see the light interacting with the tree leaf. Now the street light turned on at dusk, and you can look at the stars. We even just saw the moon. We can even change this sunny day into a thunderstorm. Particle systems are a key component of visual effects. Game engines provide easy to use tools to be able to create and control those particle systems. That's how artists can create effects like atmosphere, clouds, and rain. Not safe to have an umbrella anyway. Next, you can add and animate real life characters into your scene. Having like life character to your scene will really help everyone understand how the space will be used. Look at those people enjoying the outdoor cafe on a sunny afternoon. To bring more realism to our streets, what we need, of course, is cars. Cars positions can be animated following a script or using real-world sensors. Oh, sorry, I need to move out of the way. <laughs> sorry. We've created this amazing immersive experience once, but we can deploy it to multiple devices. This one, of course, but also via headset, tablets, or phone. The simplicity of deployment is one of the reasons why virtual reality experience are mostly built using game engines today. Let's talk about augmented reality now. I have now on my phone an application that allows me to look beneath the streets at the underground utilities. This is what we call real life AR. Uh oh, I think we're having a problem. Our newly designed cafe is on fire. Once again, we're using particle system to create this real looking fire. And lastly, we can transition to this tabletop experience, giving us a top view of the city of Bendigo. Tabletop applications works as augmented reality on devices like phones or tablets, virtual reality on VR headsets, or mixed reality on devices like HoloLens. And they can all be powered with one single game engine project. They're good for situation awareness, advanced planning, and collaboration. Here, we're showing the position of the emergency responders on their way to the fire, represented by those red cones. We can also see the effect of the smoke on the city, depending on the wind direction and speed. And that was a quick tour of some of the things you can do when you bring GIS to the game engines using the ArcGIS MAPS SDKs.